Hey guys, I just had another great idea that you can use for your faction server to um to make a secret entrance to your base that really nobody's gonna know about. So if you're walking in the grass and you just drop an item, it's just gonna get sucked down into this one part. But if you drop a special item with a special name, and for me it's gonna be Pet Rock, it's gonna open up this awesome doorway. Which is leading to nothing right now, but this would lead to your um to your base. Like this could just be the wall of your castle or whatever, and that's how you get in. And usually, if I do this ever, I like to put a flower on it, but then I like to put other flowers all around to make it look natural. But what I always do is I make sure this flower is kind of like a lone flower, but you can barely tell. So, yeah, that's really what I like to do with it. And then I always know where it is. And nobody's ever going to throw an item down there, name, whatever you name it. And they're never even going to think to throw an item on the ground purposely anyway. So, now let's get to the building part of this. Now, I do warn you, uh, it's not that much redstone. And it's not too complicated, but... This is going to be a little bit longer of a tutorial. Um, and so, yeah, just, 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 yeah, just prepare for that. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to start out with doing is getting a hopper minecart and a rail. And I actually want to warn you guys, if you're going to use this on a faction server or something, it will not work if the faction server deletes entities. Because the the minecart is an entity so it will be deleted so unfortunately this doesn't work on faction servers that delete entities every like 30 minutes or whatever so I mean I don't know it kind of sucks for some people but I mean for the servers that don't do that this is gonna work great <laughs> um so the first thing you're gonna need to do which I should have been saying earlier is dig a 5D pole in the ground, place three hoppers facing into the wall, and then a uh, hopper with a minecart on top. Now, get yourself a staircase and a, whoops, a chest. Okay, cool. And then we're gonna come over here, place a double chest like this, double chest like this, and actually before we're gonna place that, we're going to want to place a staircase right here so we can keep that hopper locked in position but also open our chest. Okay, cool. So then run a piece of redstone or a redstone repeater actually into that torch. And then we're going to want to grab redstone repeater. Now just place a redstone like this, comparator like that. Um, then to get the output from here, what we're going to do is we're going to get a button, more redstone, um, uh, torch, repeater, and a dropper. Now, what you do here is you place a dropper like this, and, uh, I forgot the hopper, hopper on into it, torch above it. Uh, redstone on this and a button right here to make this power signal face it that way and then you can just plop an item in there and redstone probably wasn't my start smartest move to do with that and um, then what you're going to want to do is decide how long you're going to want this door to be open so I want it to be open for a little while so I'm going to place two four tick repeaters and when you're done getting a good amount of repeaters down then you can just do what I'm doing right here so once you've done that then you're good to go and this is going to be your output so what I'm actually going to do for this output right now just to show you guys simply but this can actually lead to anywhere um, let me make sure it's daytime Okay, what? Where did that even go? Okay. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Now that we got that down, 
all we need to do is put in our programmed item and how we're going to do that is we're going to get an anvil or it can just be a regular item if you want but I'm going to name some cobble um, um, magic <laughs> okay oh god okay I didn't bump that okay and then fill up that row like that uh, you're gonna want to get 18 and place them right there oh I didn't mean to dang it okay so now show this in action um, lock that hopper up right there and let's throw in where did my magic go okay we throw in some cobble nothing's gonna happen if we throw in our magic we get this lit up so that is exactly what we wanted actually um so i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and um just as future reference if you didn't want your output to be like that you could just have it be redstone like this leading to whatever and now i actually forgot where my okay there it is uh, oh whoops that's cobble yep so there's our output hope you guys enjoyed and adios